I'm in uh, another little street of Palmetto, and uh, it's right on 5th Street West and, uh, what does that say, 9th Avenue West. And I saw a cool little shop right here. Check this out. This, sh this shop right here, Lawn and Garden Growers. I guess it's called Lawn and Garden Growers. They are the only, they claim to be the only hardware store where you can get your hair cut in the store. And they also see they have haircuts here. And they actually sell ice cream. What kind, how cool is that? Let's go in for a second. So here's the haircutting place. Hi there. How are you? So it's a it's a hardware store where you can get your hair cut right here. So if you need your hair cut and you need a couple bolts or a couple nuts and some hammers, here you are. Right here. Full line of stuff. And I'm not supposed to get them in there, but how cool is that, right? Right here, only here in Palmetto, the only barber place, only barber shop in a hardware store. Can you believe that? That's awesome. Check it out if you're in the area. Hey guys, I'm out here in front of this really cool garage. It has a what is that, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari kit car out here? Porsches, maybe a Carmen Ghia, Firebird. I don't know what that rusty one is. Cool though. Check out this cool sign. Look at that. How epic is that? Sticks Garage. I guess it's a real high end custom garage. But check out this mailbox too. Is that cool? And who knows what this is? Is that some kind of uh, oil pump or pumping oil? Oh, who knows what that is? That looks like a yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. Maybe some antique kind of pump. I don't think it's a gas pump. But look at this bus too. Nice. You don't see you don't see a bus like that very often, right? A chrome bus. How epic is that? There is a really cool thing, uh, sculpture on the top up here. I'm not sure if it's a, uh, it's like a lizard golf cart. Check this out. How cool is that? Hot Rod Gecko. Look at that. That is neat. Little engine in the middle. Awesome. I guess Sticks Garage made that. I did want to show you one fascinating something I've never seen in my life. Have you ever seen anything like this? A Christmas tree with hubcaps? A hubcap Christmas tree. That is fascinating, isn't it? Look at that. Somebody took the time to do that. I wonder if that's a community art project or something. You can see there's some uh, all kinds of classic I'm just guessing 70s maybe, 70s hubcaps. You know, a visit to Palmetto wouldn't be complete unless you visited Emerson Point Preserve out here west of Palmetto on Sneed Island. Beautiful trees and water and birds and fish. And you can fish out here and it looks like you can boat out here too. Looks awesome. Come check it out. So another really great place in Palmetto is this Palmetto Cemetery, which actually predates 1888. Can you believe that in Florida? This guy died in 1857, Jesse Pickens. I think it says Alabama born. Look at this fence. Is this the coolest fence you've ever seen or what's left of this little fence? It must have been a fence that actually went around these two plots like a little fenced in plot but look at that yeah I can pretty much tell that's a hundred year old fence and this is HD Pickens died can't see 1840 something can't see in there how cool is this cemetery 
this cemetery was um, this cemetery was uh, started pre-1888 and they actually call it the Yellow Fever Cemetery, if you can believe that, because I guess of an epidemic of yellow fever at that time. It actually closed in 1910. Not really sure why, but this is some great, great stuff. Look at these gravestones. You don't see stuff like this much. 18, oh, 1903, they died. And look at this, this red color. Really cool. It must have been a sticks out here at that time. It was fascinating. John Robinson, 1901. So most of these people actually passed away between 1888 or just before that and actually uh, up until about 1910 I guess they they closed it and it's actually been renovated since and very historic. It says there's only, there's only 44 people, people buried out here. You can see it's kind of very sparse in some of these areas. And there's, a, there's actually a lot of unknown graves here too that they don't know who's been buried out here. But they have a couple really small, small gravestones here. There's one that's actually been taken over by uh, some creepy plants here. Look at that. This has actually been taken over. I guess they need to cut that back. And I guess this is the style in the 1800s. They would put a little fence around your gravesite to keep it keep it nice. They chose to leave the branches on that one. Apparently, I love these monolith type gravestones. They're so cool. Arsenath Carr died at 71. Has a little gravestone next to it. That's kind of cool. Some great stuff. You know what's really fascinating is when they do these uh, these cement type above ground above ground type of graves. I don't I don't know what the technical term is. It a uh, whatever they call those uh, uh, above ground. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. What do you call an above ground a crypt? Is that what it is? It's a crypt. It looks kind of like a bed, sort of with a round top. A little bit like a bed above ground bed and I'm assuming that that the caskets in there and it's just been covered over fascinating um, I live in Sarasota there's a couple old cemeteries there I don't know if they're quite that old it seems like this Palmetto Terracea area is actually a lot of people settled in here for what reasons I don't know maybe it's become because they came from up north they stopped in a place where there wasn't many people squatting they just tried to put up their houses and people keep going south. As far as I know about history, that's that's my guess. So, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, I enjoyed having you guys here. Leave a comment down there uh, at the bottom, you know, and uh, check out my the rest of my videos on my channel, uh, John Swift Live or Mr. John Swift 200, my other channel, where I feature some different kind of videos, and uh, check out Spreadshirt.com, John Swift spreadshirt.com johnswift.spreadshirt.com for cool shirts i'm gonna have some hats on there you want to pick one of those up hey guys have a great day okay blue hubcaps hey I'm, I'm sorry about the park not being so archaeological but hey these signs are fun look signs those are fun mother <laughs>